I took the inner city bus from Auckland to Whangarei using the FlexiPass. Inner city is New Zealand's largest bus system servicing areas throughout the country. I really wasn't sure about buying a car at the time, so I went with the FlexiPass. It's a great way to go to different towns, but not really meant for traveling within the town itself. I stayed at the only backpackers hostel in central Whangarei called the Cell Block, which was originally a 1960s jail. This was such a unique experience and a first for me to stay in a jailhouse. It was within walking distance from the bus stop and very close to restaurants and the supermarket. I usually stay in all-female dorms, but the mixed dorm was larger and had more lighting. I was a little nervous at first to be in a room with males, and there were a couple of nights where I was the only female. I ended up meeting really nice guys from South Africa, France, England, and the Netherlands, so this experience gave me more comfort in staying in mixed dorms. It's a very colorful hostel, and it doesn't really give you the vibes of a jail. There's plenty of indoor and outdoor communal areas. One thing you should know is that several locals stay here long term, which is not something I've experienced before in hostels. Their long term stay helped keep the hostel up and running during COVID, and for the most part, the local vibes added to the unique experience here at the cell block. Walking to the Raumanga Falls took 50 minutes from the hostel, and it was one of the first moments when I realized the pain points of just traveling by inner city bus. I was so new to the country and didn't really know how to use the local bus system at the time either. It was nice though to go on a walk and explore the falls with my new friend. At Ralmanga Falls, you can go for a swim, which was so much fun. Although it was a bit challenging, I enjoyed the hike to Mount Pariaka Lookout. It took about an hour to get there from the hostel, but it offered great views of the city. We then walked to Pongare Falls, which was absolutely spectacular. The video doesn't capture how massive this waterfall is. Even without a car, there were plenty of things to see. I recommend visiting the EyeSight Visitor Center in each town for more information on what to do. My friend went to the Art Center and I walked around the town. We went to Baki Boo's Gelato and I got the best Biscoff ice cream ever. We visited Kiwi Kai and tried Hongi for the first time. I have another video sharing my experience with that. We walked through Lori Hall Park, which was gorgeous. To wrap up my time in Fangare, I had an unforgettable night dancing and listening to live music at Judge House of Ale with my hostel roommates. Definitely don't skip out on Fangare.